Hi there everybody, this is Pastor Charlie. It's Wednesday the 4th of November and I've got your Keeping Connected video for tonight, late in the night. I forgot earlier this afternoon. I want to read for you a poem tonight. It's a poem by my friend, the Reverend David Campton, who's an Irish Methodist pastor who's wonderfully gifted with words. He placed this poem on his blog just last week and as he wrote it, he had his own father in mind who did not work with words, but was a laboring worker. He worked with steel and worked the land. And so this poem uh, reflects on that, reflects on David's own work and is quite inspired by the work of Seamus Heaney. This is called Word Working. I work with words as my dad once worked with steel, shaping and soldering, welding and grinding, the light of a screen burning into my eyes and a faint echo of my father's often unscreened eyes, seared by arc light. His handiwork held in his once vice-like grip formed the skeleton of this city and beyond. But the sparks and shavings of his efforts pierced clothing and flesh right down to the bone. He carried his creations with him skin and soul as hard as tempered steel. I work with words, as my dad once worked with soil, digging and turning, planting and tending, enjoying the process, but always with an eye to the final product, wanting it to taste good and nourish, not just please the sight. His hands firmly held both fork and spade, forming straight fertile furrows from cold clay. The aroma of the manure he spread clung to his clothes and nourished his heart, bearing him back to his beginnings. He carried his creation within him, body and mind renewed in a garden. I work with words as our Heavenly Father first did, commanding creation from chaos light into darkness, only later ordaining heavenly bodies as beacons of that primordial light. Not by his strong hand, but by the word of his mouth was formed everything that is seen and unseen. His words took on life, planted in a glorious garden, and those lives went awry with their words and actions, sparking destruction and death, piercing even his own son. But he carried his creation within him. Light and life, the first and final words. I work with words. Rarely divine fate for me, but bending and shaping, soldering and hard hammering at a desk without risk of losing my fingers. Yet what have those words wrought? Do they weld together or grind down? Do they create light that illuminates or merely sears? Do people wish to avert their eyes or look more closely? Will they live on, unseen, beneath the brickwork or be absorbed into the atmosphere with my final breath? Will they grow and set seed for a new generation or will they wither away, decaying without remark or regard? Do the words set free by my soft typing hands or all too quick lips and tongue create a framework for relationships or are they destructive burning shards, piercing and scarring hearts and souls deeper than I can see? Is my creator carried within my words and ideas wherever they fly?